Hi, this is Maria. I've been asked to make a video showing how to make your own templates in Procreate or in Keynote to use in your journal or your planner that you would use and write in GoodNotes or NoteShelf or whatever app that you're using. Um, I'm kind of using both at the moment. I'm testing out NoteShelf. But the, the point is, how do you make your own? Well, I've been struggling to make this video because I don't normally make my own. I purchase stickers and brushes from Jenny Gollan typically because I like her work but um, I don't normally make my own but we're gonna give it a shot so here we go this is my good notes page I'm going to click the dots export export current page image image again and export to my camera roll this will save this picture without all the goodies up here that belong to GoodNotes so that I have a template to use in Procreate. So now here I'm going to add screen size and I'm going to use my wrench tool, image, insert photo and I'm going to pick up that last image. Now I do this in every single video because um, well let's see because I like to have my image fit exactly into GoodNotes and this is a good way to do that. I just work inside of this template. Um, GoodNotes sizing is not very forgiving. So I am testing NoteShelf too because it has some new added features and we're going to try it out. For the moment I'm still in GoodNotes. So here's my basic uh, journal page and once you save this once you don't have to do this over and over again. I'm going to make sure I have a new layer, pick a brush, and because I like Jenny's products, I have a lot of her brushes, but um, basically you would just add in the stickers, oh, these are brushes, the brushes that you want to incorporate in your layout. So here you would just size the sticker, uh, I'm sorry, this is a brush you just tap on the screen and you get your your stamp. This is a stamp brush. I'm going to make that bigger so that it fits the screen. The closer you are in size when you stamp, the clearer your image is. Okay, so I'm just going to make it fit where I want. I'm leaving a little bit of room so I can decorate around. But this is the beauty of Procreate brushes is you can do whatever you want if you decide you don't want that color pick another color click select the entire layer click and fill and I just switched colors um, I love 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 Procreate brushes all of them work like this um, and Jenny has just made life so much easier by giving us a lot of brushes um, so let's, I'm in a new layer, let's pick something else. She's got daily brushes, weekly brushes, monthlies. You can have something like this and make your own check boxes. Okay, so if you really wanted to make your own layout, absolutely, you certainly can. You can make trackers that's too big. Let's make it smaller. You can do whatever you want and make it completely custom exactly the way you want. Just work in different layers so if you screw something up you don't mess everything else up. She's also giving us, let's see, planner labels is a set of brushes. Look at this. These are beautiful and they're already framed for you. Let's see. Let's see. I'm guessing at the size of my label here. You get the idea. It is certainly possible to make your own everything. Okay, let's try this one. Now it's sideways, I'm going to turn it. I'm going to stamp it. And then I'm going to click my arrow and rotate. And look at that. Beautiful. Okay, um, something else, if you select the layer you're on, click your S, S tool, make sure you're in automatic. You can select only 
part of the image that I stamped. It's not selecting the entire layer. And now I can change the color of just that section that I selected. Okay, so just because it's easier to write on a lighter color than that bold green, I'm going to bring the opacity down so I can see the dots behind it. Um, that works with all of these, so select the layer, click S, to make sure I'm in automatic, I want just the center one, and I'm changing the color. Okay, now again, I'm just going to lower that opacity so I can see through. Now it's changing the opacity of everything, not just the selected item, but that's okay. Um, you get the idea. So let's go another layer. She also has frames. You can do lots and lots of beautiful things with these frames. Um, let's make it pretty big. Let's make it even bigger than that. When you do this kind of thing, that can be your background. Make it fade into the background and just there's so many possibilities with making your own, uh, just decorating stuff you purchase or, or starting from scratch. Um, she's got different pretties like this that you can just tap in and place where you want. Okay, now it's, it's all on the same layer so when I move these they'll move together. But you can do all kinds of beautiful, beautiful designs with these. Now that one is underneath a layer so we'll put it on top so it's nice and bold on top. Another layer. So she's got this kind of thing. She's also got paint strokes so we can do this kind of thing. Make sure it's in its own layer. Lower the opacity so you can see right through it. Add another layer. She's also got some of the very first things I bought from her were these. These are continuous brushes, which means now a normal stamp brush you just touch, like all of these, I touch the screen and it's stamped. The continuous ones you draw along, hold and stay, and Procreate straightens the line for you, and they just run along. Okay. Instant banner. Hold and steady. Pro let Procreate straighten it for you. Well, it didn't work that time. It's two finger tap erases. I'm going to wait without lifting my pen. Procreate straighten it for me and you get pretty borders and she's got a lot of those. She's got leaves and ferns and all kinds of pretties. Make sure I'm in make sure I'm in a new layer here. See how big I want this to be. And these are pressure sensitive, so if I push they get bigger. If I don't push they get small they get thinner. Two finger tap. You can do all kinds of things. Um she's got sparkles. I love the sparkles. Okay, um, You can do all kinds of stuff in here. Now again, to save, you will simply turn off the journal layer, turn off the background layer, you get this, click your wrench tool, share, PNG, save image, that goes into your camera roll. I'm going to go into good notes, long press, image, photos, Pick up that last image and just size it and drop into place in good notes. I'm going to crop to make this a little bit smaller because you have to have something, you have to have space on the outside of your image in good notes in order to tap off. See where my handles are? I need to be able to tap off the image in order to set it in place. So this is all one big sticker in in GoodNotes.
Okay, so when I write on top, I'm, I'm writing over top of the sticker itself. If I erase that, it's going to erase the handwriting, but not the sticker behind it. All right, so that's one way of doing things. Now, she's also given us, let me turn this back on. She's given us new tools, because these are all pre-made, you just touch and stamp. Um, let me get a new gallery here, add a new screen size. She's given us new, some new tools. So let me pick a darker color here. Um, outline shapes. So with shapes, you can do stuff like this. Touch your screen and you get a big square. Now that is perfect for making an actual page in your layout, okay? You've got a complete, perfectly square rectangle. Let's get another layer. So you've got a round rectangle. Okay, same kind of thing. Two fingers erase. You've got a round square, a square outline, a planner outline. You've got just loads and loads of tools. You can just go crazy making whatever shapes you want. Okay, so I'm going to click the select, click my, whoops, automatic, click my image, and you can make that whatever color, whatever size you want, and make designs that way. You've just got lots and lots of tools inside of Procreate, um, lots to play with. New layer, put that star, and again, you can do that. And make, because it's in its own layer, I can move it and resize it however it is that I want. Lots of options, lots of options. Okay, so one other thing that I like to do is if I'm in Keynote, new presentation. So if I wanted to make a grid, I would go into Keynote because it's easier. I'm gonna click Add. I'm gonna go to my little grid option, pick something that's transparent or close to it. Okay, it gives me a basic grid. I'm going to click my paintbrush and go to table. I want an outline and grid options. I want all the lines visible. And then I'm going to put as many lines as I want, many columns and as many rows as I want. Okay. Size this the way you want. You have an instant grid. Now, maybe that's not usable, so okay, I'm going to click that. I'm going to take this. I don't like this feature where if you touch Keynote with your pencil, you get into draw mode. Um, you have to be careful with that. So we're going to make two columns and just make one. This is going to be my check boxes. And then this column is, I don't need it that big. You have to click, you have to move it from the top. See if my pencil will work. You have to click these two little lines at the top. Okay. Um, add more rows. And you can make boxes this way. So that when you... Actually, let's take away... I don't want alternating rows, I just want it blank. Okay, so now from here I can long press, copy, and go into Good Notes, long press, and paste, and you have an instant grid that way with check marks available. Okay, so you can do all kinds of things to make your own layouts. You can go straight into, you'd have to go straight into GoodNotes though. You can't copy and paste into Procreate. Um, unless you, you'd have to save this image 
as a picture and then you could bring it in, into Procreate as an image. But like I said, I don't normally do that, but you certainly can um, and do whatever it is that you want to make in Procreate. Thanks for watching.